Oh. Is this a sad or a VO? Am I good? All right, we've got a very special guest for you with those moves. He was in some kind of mood, I'm sure, coming off a record-setting weekend. Let's get into it with Chargers receiver Keenan Allen, who decided, I'm not going to go on your show. I'm going to get a lift in tomorrow, and I love you for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you having me. Keenan, are we joking? 18 catches? 18 catches, 250 yards. You taught me something when I saw you in August. GG. 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 Good game. That's it. That's all you got to say. It's GG. Do you know which two other players had 18 or more catches and 200 plus yards in a game besides you ever? Yeah. Who? <laughs> uh, Brandon Marshall. And uh, I forgot his name. Tio. Oh, yeah. That's I didn't his, that's his, his 19. I, was, I thought it was one more. No, just you. That You're the other one. Okay. And by the way, none of them threw for a touchdown pass, and we'll get to that in a second. W did you wake up knowing you were going to get all that love? No. How did it happen? Um, I mean, once we got into the game plan, uh, Kellen just kind of was like, hey, if they want to make it, you know, this option game kind of, and, um, you know, just keep on giving us signals at the line of scrimmage. And I just happened to be in the right spots at the right time, to be honest with you. Oh, I thought maybe you made Justin Herbert a brisket or nah. took, him, took him, like, golfing out there somewhere in Orange County, no? No, no. <laughs> you guys I, just got I, it I done. I haven't golfed this year. Oh, uh, at, at all? Uh-oh. But I don't know. No. You don't need to. You're somehow getting the rock. Uh, locked in. Locked us, in. Walk us through this touchdown pass, okay? What were you thinking when this play got called in the huddle? Uh, as soon as it got called, I was like, yeah, 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 it's time to go. <laughs> and as, as the play is going on, I'm coming in motion. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting the ball and I'm seeing these guys come wide open. I'm like, please don't mess this up, my guy. I, I already messed it up once, so I can't mess it up again. I, you, you had, you did one in 2020 and one in 21, 2021, and I think that did not, yeah. that did not work out. So with this no, one, it, it you didn't. weren't nervous at all. I was definitely nervous. That's what I'm saying. I was just, the only thing I was thinking about is don't mess this up. <laughs> and then it worked out, and it's amazing. Um, okay, well, we loved it. We loved all of that. And it was a, a, a really nice week game. It's always a heartbreaker. It's always like an up-and-down situation sometimes watching these games. But then Mike Williams goes down. So you're getting the rock. You're doing all this stuff. And then your boy. And I know that the team is going to miss him tremendously. But how big of a loss is that for you personally? Yeah, you know, that's my guy. You've seen the energy we had at training camp. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we always laughing, telling jokes, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, just not having him around, you know, the energy's going to be a little down. But, uh, you know, the, the young guys are ready to come up, make plays. And uh, obviously, Josh Palmer, he's been uh, the number one, you know, for several weeks last year. So uh, I think he's ready to go, too. So. When I talked to you about the rookie, Quentin Johnston, at training camp a couple months ago, you, you know, super athletic, he's got potential. Who is he now? How has he grown since then to now? What makes you think he's ready for this opportunity and just really the responsibility? Yeah, I think um, just as a human being, when your back's up against the wall and it's time to go, and uh, obviously we just lost Mike Williams, so, you know, he, he's, he's at a point to where, he, you know, it's one of those things where you got to come in and, you know, it's time to make some noise. So um, I think just having that pressure, um, it allows you to kind of settle in a little bit. It allows you to play your game and, um, you know, just go back to your roots and, you know, understand how you got here and, um, you know, just try to go be that person. I picked Justin Herbert as my MVP this year, and that 400, that casual 400-yard game last week definitely helps, and it looks great. So I hope you and Johnston, one. yeah, I hope you and Johnston <laughs> can get it done. I mean, you were such a big part of all of those yards. Uh, Justin Herbert, is he still breaking down those huddles like you told me? What makes 2023 Herbert unique outside of being healthy? Yeah, so as you've seen it, um, you know he's checking checking at the line of scrimmage, you know, coming up with more ideas to to give us the same stuff, but in different ways. Um, you know, we played the, that same defense in, I think it was 2020 or 2019, something like that. And it didn't go that, it didn't go that way. You know, um, you know, he just wasn't, he wasn't there yet. Um, he wasn't able to, to see those things. He wasn't able to be as confident as he is now. And um, now you just see the confidence. You see how smart he is, how much he's developed. And, um, you know, we got a guy who can uh, lead us in the right direction. I had a couple guys on the Giants and I had Daniel Jones on, and they told me that he doesn't, he has no hobbies. He doesn't like, play Xbox with them. He doesn't play Madden with them. He yeah. What does Justin Herbert do to sort of, like, hang out with y'all? Um, we just kind of kick it, you know what I'm saying? Um, with me, we, we, play, we play golf a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But obviously, he had a little surgery, so he couldn't play golf this offseason. So, you know, it really wasn't a lot of hanging out unless we were up here, you know, playing football. You know, he's a, he's a football guy at the end of the day. 
Yeah. Now, in this game last week, less than two minutes to go, four-point lead. You guys go for it on fourth and one. I know you're hearing all about this. You're on your own 24. It doesn't work out. The defense did come up with a stop, though, to win the game. What did you think of the call? Uh, at the time, you know, we all wanted to go for it. We all was in the huddle saying the same thing. Just let's just go quarterback sneak, you know. Let's let Justin get us out of here. And, um, you know, obviously he had the situation where um, he couldn't really go quarterback sneak because they had the gaps all covered up. And, um, you know, we went with the belly. So, at the end of the day, we want to, you know, live with the, with the ball in our hands and try to put the game out right there. So Yeah. Keenan, some people are saying, a lot, a lot of people are saying that Brandon Staley is not it. What do you say? Mm-hmm. This is my coach, right? <laughs> this is this is uh, this is somebody that leads us every day. So, uh, you know, we have all the all the confidence in the world in him. Um, you know, everything that he tells us, you know, that's what we rock him with. So, I love that. Now, AFC West division rivalry week, we love it. You versus Marcus mm-hmm. Peters, which I love too. I'm sure you've thought about this matchup a little bit. What makes facing him uh, fun for you? He's a dog. Uh, he, he's a guy who, who loves to play football. Uh, he's gonna talk junk. Uh, we're going to go at it, you know, four quarters, and uh, it's going to be fun. So. Uh, what gets you going more? Like, what gets you more hype? Is it facing another, you know, facing Marcus Peters out there, and you guys have some history, like he's a dog, like you're saying? Or is it facing, like, a stud wide receiver on the other side of the ball? Because you had Justin Jefferson, you went off. Devontae Adams, one of the best, he's out there. What gets you hype more? Uh, definitely the DB. Um yeah, definitely the DB, just because you know it's going to be fun. Uh, the tone is going to be set early. We're going to be talking junk from the first series, so, you know, that's definitely going to be fun. Um, I know you had your moments with Deion Sanders. Got to ask you before we let you out. I mean, there's a California part of this, of course, USC. USC or Colorado? I like Caleb Williams more than I like the Colorado team, but obviously Deion got some, you know, the culture is rocking with Deion, so I'm Colorado and I'm USC. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you I like Caleb like Williams' game. I like Stores' game, too. So, you know, without Travis Hunter, I think it's going to be tough for him. Uh, um, okay. Before we go, we got the Raiders this week. You love to sing. Can you just sing me a little something about this? Just, on your way out, just give me a little something. Sing just about one. the matchup. <laughs> I can't do you it. The can't? young boys is literally staring at me right now. Who is? <laughs> All the young boys is just looking hey, at me. Hey, young Quentin Johnston. Can I, Quentin, come over here, Quentin. Can I meet him? Quentin, get over here. Meet you, bro. <laughs> Quentin Johnston! 6'4", he won't even fit in the frame. He's too scared? <laughs> no, he's walking over. He's right here. Hey, Quentin, how are you? Yeah, how you doing? It's yeah. nice to meet you. Listen, I've heard a lot about you. Keenan's, Keenan's a, a wild child, but he's amazing. You let him get 